it's Jason from Rotoboss Rotary Attachments. In this video, we're going to go over uh, our two Chuck Rotaries. We got the Talon to my right and the Talon Pro to my left. Uh, we're going to go over the features, the functions, what comes with the kit, what the uh, additional pieces are, things like that, um, and show you all the different features uh, with the Talon. So stay tuned. Let's get into this and see what we got. All right, so with your Talon kit, uh, they come in a couple different configurations and this is the same for the Talon or the Talon Pro. Uh, we have the, the Talon with extended base, which is this is what you see in front of you. Um, what this is, is for mainly for your gantry lasers, things of that nature. Um, you can use it on, on Galvos as well, but we actually have a, a purpose Galvo mount here for that purpose. Um, so you can get it with the Talon with extended base, which is this, you can get it as a talon um, for Galvo, which you'll get this mount instead. So basically you would get the mount for it instead of the extended base. So there's, those are two ways you can get it. Uh, the other thing is, it's based on the motor that you use. That basically just tells us how to set it up. But if you run on Lightburn, Artyworks, or EasyCAD, we have a solution for that. Some of the key features of this particular rotary, and again, this all um, is equal with the Talon Pro. Um, so we have the adjustable jaws. There's four of them. Uh, allows you to have a lot better control and um, pressure on your items. That way, like with delicate things like glass and things of that nature, you're not likely to damage them, or you're less likely to damage them. Um, with the even pressure at four points instead of three. The next thing we have is we have our push button lock. What this does is, as you can see, head moves freely. Push that down, locks the head in place. Uh, what that does is it eliminates the need for those clumsy um, tightening bars or whatever that a lot of other rotaries have. So you don't need to have any tools or anything like that to keep track of or mess with when you're trying to tighten things down. Typically you can tighten, tighten it down just fine without the button, but if you need to put that extra little spin on it, that's what that's for. Um, the other thing is, <clears throat> is our articulating mechanism here. Um, it basically just allows it to freely pivot and then you lock it down with your thumb screw here. And then for added strength or support, you can tighten down this one as well. Um, that'll give it added stability to keep it from moving. Another great feature about this is, um, and you can do this <clears throat> with the extended base or with the, the Galvo mount itself, is you can actually remove this. And we are working on another way to do this to make it a little bit uh, easier. Um, but I mean, if you're gonna set it up for, for something, you'd probably rather have it intentional. And that's why we have these set of holes here. Um, so that way when you reposition this, you're repositioning it in a true 90 degree angle. And this is good for if you're doing uh, turntable type stuff on a Galvo. You just take it, turn your motor up. and that locks it at a 90 degree. There's a little bit of slop in there just in case there's there's need for adjustments. Um, and then this scrub screw goes in this side to give you your pivot point. So now you have it in a vertical fashion, so you can do like a turntable for ID cards, pins, whatever it is that you want to do. You can set up a template. Uh, you can actually bolt your template to the head, or you can actually just put four holes and then just run these through the holes and tighten it down that way. Um, so a couple different ways you can do it. The one mount, you got everything you need to do all your different stuff. We'll go ahead and set this one aside. Uh, and we'll use the Pro for this. So the Pro has all the same features as the, uh, 
the Talon. Um, the main difference with this is it's belt drive, so it's got a, a gear reduction, so to speak. Uh, and basically that gives you the ability to have double the steps that you would normally have for the driver setup that you have. So if you're normally at 4,000 with, with a chuck, this would put you at about 8,000 or so. So you get more steps, uh, smoother movement, more torque to allow you to accommodate heavier items such as a, a big platter of cups, let's say. Same locking mechanism, uh, same adjustments, same feature where you can move it back to the back holes here and actually have it in the vertical position. So what comes standard with your chuck? So the Talon or the Talon Pro, as we talked about before, you got your bases. Um, the other thing that comes standard on it are these four pieces here, which are for uh, attaching onto the rotary. And what this allows you to do is extend the footprint of your jaws and then you just place your rubber bumper on here, do it all the way around. You can do much larger items, dog bowls, things of that nature. Um, in addition to that, you'll get um, at least two different sets of feet. So you'll have a long and a short. With that also, the longer ones here, if you take the rubber piece off, you have, actually have an indention here for wedding rings, things of that nature where you can hold them inside or out. Um, so if you just, you basically just take the screw out of the tip of it, it holds it in, slide the rubber piece off, and now you've got a ring fixture uh, built right into it. So you always have that if you need it. And then when you're done with it, you just put it back on, so the screw back in and back in business. Um, so that's another great thing about this is you don't have to have any other tools or special things for all your basic stuff. The exception to that would be uh, these pieces up front here. Again, this is part of a mount system if you order it that way. And then we also have here is our extension plate, uh, which that mounts to here, which is adjustable on this bracket. And then also the rotary is adjustable on this piece as well. So you have more adjustability for larger items, such as large dog bowls. This is an add-on item, as well as these. These are also add-on items. Um, these are serrated on the inside and out and shaped in a way to where if you're doing like wooden dog bowls or something with a softer material that it's, it's hard to grip onto with the, the rubber feet, this would be really good for that. Another great thing about these is the fact that uh, not only do they fit on the standard jaw, adjustable, turn it around, same thing, adjustable. Um, so not only do they fit on the jaws themselves, but your extensions as well. So if you notice on the extension, there's a little um, cutout here. That's for these to fit on there to allow you to do basically the same thing. Um, just with these instead of the rubber feet. And then the good thing about that is, is you can also put these, there's three different holes. You can put these on there and uh, use them in different ways for like water bottles. Uh, if you have like a shot glass or something that you need to space away from the head to keep the head from hitting the rotary, um, this spaces it away another about an inch, inch and a half. So that way you have plenty of room to um, engrave. And then depending on how you place these, you got a, a shoulder here for a cup edge to sit on that way. So if you're gripping it from the outside or if you wanna grip it from the inside, do it like that. You still have that shoulder to rest the cup or the object on. <clears throat> And all of this is basically tool free. Uh, these do have bolts in them obviously, but um, they're meant to just go on and off, kind of like this, just finger tight. But if they get tight enough to where they get stuck on there or something, you can use an Allen wrench to take them off. Um, but they're just meant to be on there finger tight. Um, one, makes it simpler to switch if you need to. And two, they really don't need to be cranked down because it's not gonna do you any good. Um, vice just being on there finger tight. So 
<clears throat> that's pretty much it for the Talon and the Talon Pro. Like I said, uh, all this stuff is interchangeable as far as what, it, what I've said and done in this video. Um, so if you didn't hear me say it for one of them, it, it goes across both platforms, so it doesn't really matter. Um, if you have any questions or anything about anything in this video, please reach out to us, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, stay tuned for more videos as they come out. And if you have any suggestions for videos, things you'd like to see, please let us know. And we'll be happy to address those in future videos. So uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.